In this video, I will show how Kubernetes supports zero downtime deployments out of the box using services by creating a Java E7 application that will be accessed. So I will use a Maven helper shell script that creates a default um, Java E7 Maven structure. And I will open that using IntelliJ just to create a small um, Java E7 project that will be used to deploy something. So this is a default Maven structure that contains the Java 7 API, which is provided. And we will write some JAXRS resource that will be used to access something over HTTP, like a cloud forecast in our Hello Cloud project. So we will annotate this with add path to access something under the path forecast that, for example, uses HTTP get to return something as a string, which gives us the cloud forecast. And let's say it's telling us it's cloudy. And this can then be deployed on a Java 7 application server running in a Docker container running in a Kubernetes cluster. In order to do so, we will first build our project using Maven clean package. And this will package everything into a WAR file. And this runs quite fast because it only contains the classes we compile and the WAR file is very small. And if we want to Dockerize our project that creates a Docker file for us, that contains the WAR file, takes it and adds it to the um, Wi-Fi auto deployment directory, since I'm using a Wi-Fi base image that is um, contained on a private Docker registry and will be used to well build this into a new Docker image that will be pushed into a Docker registry as well and later be accessed by a Kubernetes. So we can Docker build this into a new image that we call Hello Cloud. And this image has an image version or tag one. And we build this, what is also um, quite fast, to a new Docker container. And we will push that um, Docker image to our Docker um, private repository. And since this, well, can be based on base images, so the Wildfly base image is already there. This will be very fast since it doesn't uh, have to ship a lot of things over the wire, only these couple of kilobytes. And then we can run this on a Kubernetes cluster. And in order to specify the configuration for Kubernetes, we will do so as infrastructure as code in our project. So we will add a Kubernetes um, configuration directory that we call k 8s for eight characters Kubernetes and we will add a YAML file that we call hello cloud YAML for our application and now we will add two things first of all a so-called service a service is a logical abstraction over any service any application that we offer for example this hello cloud application which will be backed by a deployment so we can specify a service using this YAML syntax, telling the name Hello Cloud service. This will be available on the report 8080 later on and will be um, instantiated as a so-called node port. So a port will be available in the Kubernetes cluster. And in the same way, we will have a deployment that deploys our um, um, service, our application, using our Docker, um, Docker image. This has a name as well, for example, Hello Cloud, and uses the image from the uh, private Docker registry that we just built, Hello Cloud version one. And we will specify a so-called probes. And these probes tell Kubernetes whether a container is alive and ready to serve some traffic. So we can specify over HTTP 
which path it can access. For example, hello cloud resources forecast over which port to tell us whether the container is alive or ready respectively. And ready means it's able to serve some traffic. For example, once the application has been started up or some caches have been warmed up and so on and so forth. And now we can deploy this on a Kubernetes cluster. We have a local Kubernetes cluster running in Minikube here on my local machine. We can access this and ask which services are there or which pods are there. And we will see that nothing is running right now. But we can deploy something telling it to apply the configuration in our configuration directory. And this will apply a deployment and a service for our Hello Cloud application. And now we can see that a pod has been created. That is the actual running container. It's not um, ready yet, but it's already running. And also a service has been created that is available by an internal service port and a randomly chosen external service port that can be used using the um, well Minikube mini cluster IP that runs locally or um, you can also equally well specify an ingress with a load balancer that has a DNS name that routes to our service later on. And we can access our application Hello Cloud Resources. Resources is the JAXRS um, base application path forecast over HTTP using this service to tell us it's cloudy. And this now uses the Kubernetes cluster to access the service that routes to the running pod that serves our request. And now the interesting thing is once we want to redeploy something that we change something in the code and redeploy it that applies the zero downtime approach from Kubernetes. So if we change something here, for example, we add a timestamp, then we of course have to rebuild and redeploy our project. So we will do so saying um, maven clean package again, that package everything up into a thin war file again. And we will docker rebuild this into our hello cloud image that now has a new version or a new tag too. Normally this would be done by a UCI server, right? And again, we will push this image to our private Docker registry, which is still very fast. And now we can tell Kubernetes to redeploy our um, application. And there are, specific, um, there are several ways to do so. I will use um, the change in the YAML file. So we can still have everything as infrastructure as code here and then tell Kubernetes, please reapply that configuration. And then you will see that um, a couple of things happen. If we um, watch for the running parts, we see that the one part is running, right? And also the service is, is up and running. So we can access this just um, that we did before. And in order to show the zero downtime approach, I will have some shell um, hacking to access this via curl every second. So we can see that the service is up and running all the time. And now if I issue this apply, of the new configuration, we will see that in parallel, a new part will start up that takes our new image from the uh, registry, starts it up and waits using the um, liveness and readiness probes until the uh, part is running and ready to serve some traffic. Once that happens, the service will um, switch and reroute to the new part with a zero down, um, zero downtime. You will see here that at all um, time the service is available. Now it's serving the new version. And once the switch has happened, then the old container gets terminated, gets killed. And now the deployment is done successfully. We only have the new version here. And this is how Kubernetes uh, helps us doing a zero downtime deployment out of the box, which um, is very helpful for application if we want to redeploy them. 
and this is done without um, without any anything else needed from developer side we can deploy anything like a, a thin java e7 application and redeploy it without any downtime um, for our clients so thank you very much for watching